Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia Divorce. Today we're going to be talking about Social Security Disability Benefits and how those benefits are going to be treated when it comes to a divorce in West Virginia. I actually had somebody just email me uh, over the weekend about this and they had a question about how Social Security Disability Benefits are going to be treated in the context of a divorce. And so I just thought it would be good to talk about that for one of my videos. Now, Social Security Disability Benefits, if, if you don't know, is if somebody becomes disabled prior to uh, them getting to retirement age, they can apply for Social Security Benefits. And with those Social Security Benefits, the way it works is you can be paid um, a certain amount when it comes to, um, based on some various factors that the federal government considers, you can be paid prior to being retirement in age, okay? It's, it's a fairly strict standard that they go by. So what would happen is, let's say that you become legally disabled and you're 45 years old. Well, you can apply for and receive Social Security benefits. Uh, so, and that's one of the things that you pay into. You pay into Social Security and um, that's how that works. It can cover Social Security disability benefits, but it can also cover, and in most instances, it does cover whenever you get to retirement age. So the question was specifically, what happens to those benefits uh, during the marriage? Okay, so somebody applies for benefits, how are they gonna be treated in the context of a divorce? Now, it is a government benefit that um, somebody is gonna be receiving, okay? And actually, it's in, a better way to put it would be an entitlement, uh, because it is technically an entitlement. So what happens is, th those payments are made to the person and the question I had was whether those payments are subject to property division. And the answer to that, to that is no. The, the, the answer to the question is no, Social Security disability benefits cannot be divisible. However, just because they're not divisible does not mean that they can't be included when it comes to either child support or alimony. I've actually seen that happen in the context of a divorce where one person was ordered to pay the other person a portion of their uh, Social Security disability benefits. So let's say you've got a um, husband who becomes disabled and is receiving a large sum of money. Let's say that he had a, a lot of credits built up over the course of his life and he's gonna be getting a, a pretty good payment. Let's say on the other hand you have his spouse who doesn't have any kind of um, education beyond high school, maybe less than high school. Let's say that she um, had, doesn't have a huge work history. So let's say in, those in, in that particular instance, uh, she goes after and tries to get some spousal support. I have seen courts award alimony in that instance. And, and I guess the idea behind it is, well, you have this huge disparity of income, one person is making bringing in a lot, the other person is bringing in not too much. So what the court will do is uh, will sometimes order there to be some spousal support paid out of the Social Security Disability Benefits. Now most of the time what I see is it's going to be paid when there's a huge disparity where you've got one person who's maybe let's say only able to make minimum wage and you've got the other person who's receiving this huge payment from the Social Security Administration. And so, and of course, if you've been married for greater than 10 years, then the, the person can still draw off, the other, off of the other person's social security, but they have to wait until they get to be um, the age of um, retirement. So that consists of today's video. If you have any questions at all for me, feel free to give me a call or send an email. Have a good day.